Riding Hero was developed by SNK and released on the Neo Geo CD in 1995. Aesthetically, the title is clearly inspired by Sega's Hang On. In addition to the checkpoint-styled racing action provided by that title, SNK put their own spin on the game with real circuits and a secondary goal of finishing in third place or better, in addition to meeting the tough time limits. If you look closely, each of the tracks is based on a real-life circuit, and tracks like Suzuka in Japan, Laguna Seca in America, and Donington Park in Great Britain should be immediately recognizable. The graphics are a mixed bag. The backgrounds feature two layers of scrolling and do a nice job of setting the scene for the country being represented. Italy features the Leaning Tower of Pisa and the Colosseum, which are nice touches. However, the actual racing surfaces across all 10 tracks is identical. The green grass and the grey tarmac never change tone and it's all a bit monotonous. Riding Hero's audio fares a bit worse. The engine noise is the biggest offender. Your engine noise should progress smoothly from a low grumble to a high-pitched whine as your RPMs climb higher and higher. Instead, there are just three different engine noises, and it simply changes sound once you hit a certain speed. It's very jarring and not something you would expect from an arcade game. The background music is mostly awkward, with questionable compositions that attempt to capture that 80s rock sound, but mostly miss the mark. A couple of the tracks are catchy, but they get drowned out by the engine note, so you likely won't notice. The controls are actually pretty good here, Again, the developers wanted to do something unique, and this was accomplished by not having your bike auto-center. This means you can actually lean in part way and are able to hold that position, rather than rapidly press the left or right buttons. You are also given four turbos, which greatly increases your speed. Sadly, these cannot be used at will, and can only be engaged if you are already at maximum speed. This drastically reduces their utility, I wanted to use them to aid in passing, like the exit of a turn, but the game simply doesn't allow it. On the surface, Riding Hero should be an average little racer, but it's plagued with some major gameplay issues. The first problem is the collisions with other racers. If you hit them, you come to a crawl. While I could put up with taking my time when passing the other racers, the single biggest aggravation is that when opponents hit you, you also come screaming to a halt. You can be cruising along at top speed, only to have an opponent hit you from behind and you nearly come to a complete stop. Worse yet, if they hit you in a corner, you almost always get shoved into a roadside object and get thrown off your bike. And when you get thrown off your bike, it takes about seven seconds to get going again. So to recap, due to no fault of your own, you can get bumped into by an opponent, get thrown off your bike, and lose seven seconds of time. Not only that, this guarantees when you finally get going again, you will be in last place, only to repeat the whole damn circuit all over again. The time limit in Riding Hero is extremely unforgiving on some of the tracks, if you get thrown off your bike, there is little chance you will beat the race in the time limit. Yet on other tracks, the time limit poses no challenge at all, and you'll beat the circuit on your very first try. Riding Hero is less about racing and more about surviving. In fact, I wouldn't have bothered to race all 10 races in Grand Prix mode if it wasn't for this review. The game is simply no fun, and one of the most irritating games I've played in a really long time. On a side note, Riding Hero does feature a story mode. You must first buy a bike and then visit different locations to challenge the locals, earn money, and buy new bikes. This mode introduces traffic to the formula, and of course, it's aggravating. Cars and trucks take up the whole road, making passing a problem. On a bright note, if you lose a race and can't pay off the bet, you get clobbered. Overall, Riding Hero is a terrible game with few redeeming factors. The graphics are average at best, and the sound is poor. Riding Hero features a neat control concept, but the game is completely unplayable due to the unforgiving time limits and the erratic opponents who crash into you and ruin your race. I cannot recommend this game to anyone, not even hardcore racing fans. Avoid this mess. 1 out of 5.